One of the main items at Friday's meeting to discuss transportation issues and the plans for Tobago was the procuring of a new cargo vessel. As we indicated to the chamber that very soon they will see that tender in the newspaper for a new custom-built cargo vessel built to suit our requirements. Similar to what we did with the uh, ferry service, the passenger service, where we have two brand new vessels built to suit our requirements. Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan said while the procurement process gets underway, their hope is that the TNT spirit will offer support from November 2023. There are some challenges with one large vessel, but that is the reason why we are bringing back on the Spirit. The Spirit can take trucks up to 10 tons. So you have the cargo, the, uh, the other passenger vessels that takes up to 3 tons. The Spirit takes up to 10 tons. So should in case you have a cargo vessel and it goes down, the Spirit will be able to take up a significant amount of cargo as well. Addressing concerns about the docking of the cargo star during the upcoming cruise season, Chairman of the Chamber, Curtis Williams, confirmed that they are putting measures in place. The dredging of the port is completed and um, the Cabo Star will now be across at the GSS um, terminal and we're going to do a trial to ensure that we all the logistics and everything worked out in, in terms of the loading and offloading the vessel at that site instead of the cruise ship complex. And I think that will help us a lot, especially when the cruise ship is in and, and uh, the Cabo Star can't sail to Tobago. Minister Sinanan met with the Chamber of Industry and Commerce Tobago Division on their invitation. The stakeholders also discussed the need to have a Port Authority representative on the Tobago Chamber's committee. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.